equestrian friends, it's me Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to another video. And today I wanted to kind of talk to you a little bit about taking care of your tall boots. If you ride hunter or jumpers or any type of English riding, I'm sure you know how expensive tall riding boots can be. They are an investment because if you get a new pair of boots, you can look at spending anywhere from $250 on up for a pair of tall riding boots. And since we want those riding boots to last, I thought it would be fun to kind of give you some tips on what you can do to make sure that your tall boots last as long as they possibly can. So let's keep it simple. The first thing we want to do after we've ridden in our boots or worn our boots is to wipe the dirt, manure, horse sweat, and everything else from the surface of the boots with a damp cloth or sponge. And we need to make sure we do this every time we wear them. The contaminants in these different things like dirt, and manure and sweat leach moisture from the leather and can actually rot the stitching. Dust and dirt can cause abrasions and cracking of the leather too. So every time after you ride, go ahead and clean your boots. And it's also important to use cleaners and conditioning products that are designed specifically for boots. There's a lot of different products designed for, you know, cleaning and shining your boots. And it's really not a good idea to use household cleaners on your boots as it can really damage the leather. It's best to check the boot manufacturer's guidelines for the appropriate product of what to use. Now, when it comes time to shining your tall boots, you can apply a boot cream or boot polish to a clean boot with a soft rag. Then just buff it with a polishing brush, followed by another clean rag until your boot is nice and shiny. And you can also protect your boots on wet days by using overshoes like the little rubber things or any kind of rubbers actually that will keep your boots protected from all of the moisture. Just be sure to remove the overshoes before you store them because condensation can form between the boots and your foot and the overshoe when you wear the covers. So air really should be allowed to circulate and dry the sole of the boot to prevent mildew and to preserve the integrity of the stitching afterward. Now, if you're boots do get wet, allow them to dry at room temperature before wearing them again. And you never want to place your boots next to a heat source, like a radiator, fireplace, space heater, or even a wood stove. Now, in order for your boots to keep their shape, it's a good idea to insert boot trees, either purchased ones or homemade ones, into the tall portion of your boot. This helps so when your boots aren't being worn, they maintain their shape and it's also good if your boots have zippers. Now, they do make cedar boot trees, which are really nice. They're also a little bit more expensive, but they help to repel moisture and pests. Or you can make your own boot trees out of pool noodles, or you can buy plastic ones too. But before you put any type of boot tree into your boot, make sure that all of the perspiration and sweat has dried before you insert the boot tree. As with all of the leather products that we use for our horses and in a perfect world, we should be storing our boots in a temperature controlled environment because extreme heat and extreme cold are really bad for all of our leather products, including our boots. Now, if your tall riding boots have zippers in the back, there are some different things that you can do to help care for the zippers and make sure they last as long as they possibly can. You want to make sure that your leg measurement doesn't exceed the size prescribed for your brand of boots. So if you have a 14 inch calf and your boots are a 13 and a half inch calf, it's gonna be putting a lot of undue pressure on the zippers. So if you can, go up a size on your boots. And every time you put your boots on, make sure you unzip them all the way down, so completely down before you put your foot into the boot or also when you're taking the boots off, make sure you take the zipper all the way down. And you never ever wanna force a zipper to close. You can remove dust or sand from the zipper teeth using a toothbrush or a tool that's similar to that. And you can add a little bit of water to the brush if you need to remove any salt that builds up on the zipper. There's also a product called Zipper Ease and that can help extend the life of the zipper and make them zip smoothly. It's a stick lubricant that rubs on like a crayon that keeps metal or plastic zippers working correctly. So hopefully that gives you a little more information on what you can do to ensure that your tall boots are going to last a long time. <laughs> like I said, they're really expensive and I don't know about you, but I would prefer to keep my boots as long as possible. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all of my other videos showing you how you can be a budget equestrian too. 
Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.